Hey there, friends. Welcome to episode number 279 of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zemnickis. And as we do each week on the show, along with my guest, we dive into a dish that neither of us have ever made before, but we go forward with the confidence that it's going to be fine. Yeah. And on today's show, I am baking alongside a great comedian who I just got to know on a recent trip to North Carolina, Zachary Wykeff. I hope I'm saying that right. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Zachary is a super funny dude and a really great one too. And uh, he was down to make a frittata. I ran out of teas. So frittata. There we go. It's a savory episode today. So you ready? We're off to Cincinnati, WKRP land. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, I uh, I made sure to get camera ready by um, not showering today and also getting rained on on the way here um so i thought every all your audience is gonna love that i also have all of my groceries that i just brought in like literally it. three minutes ago <laughs> so this is, this is this the is people amazing. on youtube are gonna <laughs> eat this up uh what we're going to do for so this how do we make these breadcrumbs yeah so what we're going to do uh those watching you can just scroll down into the youtube show description there will be a link you can click on to get this recipe uh, this is from one of the coolest cookbooks that I own. It's Questlove from The Roots. It's his mixtape potluck. It's got fun art. And the best part about this, okay, this first off is what our plan. This is what we are going to attempt to make, this super cool frittata. But while you're baking, he gives you a music playlist oh, to listen to awesome. for each dish. It's really dope. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. It's pretty good. So what we're going to do is make our own breadcrumbs. Now, um, if you're not down with that and you have breadcrumbs from a salad mix bag in your fridge, just use those. I don't. We can all say, "Boo!" Don't. I mean, <laughs> stop phoning it in. We're here to make high quality. We're here to do what Questlove would want us to do. Exactly. Exactly. And he would want you to get a small baguette. Get one of these. Uh, you don't need to worry about a knife and chopping it up fine. You just want to rip this up, friends. Get your anger out and just throw it on a baking sheet. Easy. Like, can I ask what? Um, don't feel like you have to give me your bio here, but what are your qualifications? How do I know I should be trusting you with this? Because hmm? you are episode number, I think, two seventy eight. Okay. Yep. That's good. <laughs> good. That's good. That's a great point. Oh my goodness. You had yeah. you've made almost 300 of these? Yeah, episode 300 is going to air in January. Um yeah, oh it's gosh. it's a fun little hobby that just blossomed over the course of being isolated at home because when I figured out how to do this remotely, um, I was yeah. like, oh my God, this whole world has opened up so I can bake with anybody anywhere now, which is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is it like? Who's your favorite guest you've had on so far besides me? Well, I was going to say, obviously, it's it's you. Um, uh -huh. My favorite guest on, that's, I gotta always say my parents. I feel like I can't not say my mom and dad. My parents Aww. appear every 50 episodes to give their top 10 episodes of the past 15. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. All right, so where are we on your baking sheet? Are you washed up? You're good? Look. Does it look good? It's just like a before and after. I'm taking my sweet ass time here. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, yeah. so uh, you want to do that. And then um, do you need to do anything to it? Uh, let's see here. Uh, so we are going to need uh, some olive oil. You're going to smooth that over. Uh, you're going to get your um, garlic, which you want to smash it. Um, which you can Love do it. cutting up your garlic. Press your hand over it. Smash it that way. 
you can buy minced garlic in a jar. You can do that too. Um, and uh, what, now you can. Yeah, <laughs> pieces and, that are more like this, like they're tiny little. Just chop okay. up the garlic. That's just really what you're wanting to do. Um, give it a nice little bath in some olive oil, and um, it says here uh, it says a quarter cup, but I don't think I need that much. I don't know. Kind of eyeball this. This dish, by the way, friends, uh, serves about ten people. Just letting you know. Oh, um, that's the good thing good about good news it, for us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say, the good thing, the great thing about a dish like a frittata is that you can have it for dinner, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for breakfast, a late night snack. It's going to keep in your fridge. You just need to reheat it. So you can make the full serving and then just have it later. Have it tomorrow. Have it the day after. Yeah. yeah. So. That's awesome. I, I was going to say, I love that it serves 10 people, which is... Um... Which is great news for a guy that lives uh, with one other person. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> you need about half a teaspoon of salt for this. Uh, it does not say what kind of salt to use. Some recipes do or say, you know, go with kosher or sea salt. Um, this is kind of a choose your own adventure. I'm going with kosher. Uh, if you choose at home to use sea salt, you're going to get a bit more of a crunch when you bite into the breadcrumb. It'll be a bit of a saltier hit. Uh, or you can use table salt. But... Kosher is my preferred one for baking because it tends to break down a lot easier and go through a dish a lot easier, but it's really whatever you want to. It, yeah. Yeah. I have Himalayan salt. Is that something? That, do it. Do it. Yeah? Yeah. Do it. I, I mean, I have also have like normal boring salt, but I feel like the Himalayan is kind of fun. Do Himalayan. And then again, yeah. put with your hands, kind of get them all to know each other. And then you're going to pop this into the oven at 250 for half an hour. What about you? Did you grow up in a, a home where like there was a lot of stuff happening in the kitchen or more takeout? Well, uh, I grew up um, a lot on the road, actually. So we would eat uh, traveling a gotcha. lot. And we, we would eat out a lot. We'd, eat, we'd like make sandwiches in a bus going like 65 miles an hour down the road. Um, so yeah, my family was in a family band. Um, so like, we like live, you know, we like, they like lived and worked jobs, but like the second they got home from work, it was like, we're out doing, doing shows. It's wild. That is so cool. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So we, you know, we cook food, but it'd be like sausages and mac and cheese and stuff, <laughs> you know? Mac and cheese. So, yeah. It has a special place in my heart. I love it. Ooh. How is your water looking there? Mine is boiling, so. Um, I got an electric <laughs> stove because I'm, you know, we're not we're not classy. Uh, I got an electric stove, so it's got it's it's working. It's working. I have an electric stove. Oh, is that right? Oh, oh okay. On the electric well, stoves. Yeah, but when you cook when you cook with gas, like I go home and I like make eggs in like forty five seconds. It's just not, it's not. Got our eggs on standby. And then that is almost ready. As is the bread. That's right. That'd be super gross. So what I like to do when I'm cooking, cooking my pasta, um, get it to like just a little al dente. So there's like a little bit of a bite to it. Uh, and right. then turn it off and let the pasta sit in the water on another element and just let it keep cooking. Okay, okay, well, okay. Well, pasta. Sure. All right. Yeah, all right. I trust you. Yeah. Believe me. Um, so a couple of things I am doing uh, a little differently uh, for this bake as to what, it's a little different to what the, they've got in the, in the book. Um, zucchini is called for at the end of this dish as like a bit of a decoration on top. I, I totally forgot to buy zucchini, um, but I've got oh, no. carrots. I've got carrots. So I'm just going to shave them and do little shavings on top. Uh, that is fine. You don't need to use it if you don't have it at all. That is cool, too. Uh, this recipe also calls for Italian salami. Uh, but if you have any, like, meats in your fridge, like mortadella or whatever, 
that's fine too. So there you go. Yay. I love it. Oh wow. I just tore this? this bag open. Okay, mm -hmm. so I gotta eat this salami pretty quick, is what I just learned. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here. All right. So our baking dish, whatever you are going to use to bake this in, um, whether you're gonna do it in a pot like this, this works. Um, hot tip, if you are going to do this, just wrap the uh, the handles with a bit of aluminum foil. I'll just make life a little easier when you're pulling it in and out. Use an oven globe, of course, but just do that too. Uh, or if you've got what Zach has, that there. Basically, just grease this up with butter, uh, with olive oil. God forbid you need to use margarine. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> make sure this is just greased up, though. And, yeah. What do you think's better, olive oil or, or butter? I'm going to go butter. Love it. Yeah, love it. Go there she is. She's waiting for her frittata. There you go. We're going to get us a large bowl. And we're gonna break the eggs into the bowl and get that party started. So let's see. Awesome. By the way, friends, of uh, the song that Questlove recommends you listen to while making this um, is Little Wayne's Six Foot Seven Foot. Oh. Uh, which contains the immortal lyric, real G's move in silence like lasagna mm. we're real jeans mm. a bar <laughs> a bar i move in silence like lasagna i'm posted up at a at an olive garden you know That's, <laughs> i relate with that a lot yeah when you're here you're family baby that's what i always say oh my gosh Olive Garden, the whole business model of giving me free bread and salad before I eat. Like, how many times little... do you take home the meal that you order off the menu? Because, like, I don't 10, want thousand percent. All I want is bread and salad. Like, throw some chicken or something in there, and I'm set. That's all I want. <laughs> just open a restaurant that's just bread and salad. Honestly, yes. It was From rough. the Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be, uh, oh, man. What would be right outside the Olive Garden? Like, I don't know. The, olive the gardener's pit. shed. The, the Olive pit. pit. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. All look at us. Were, yeah. There you go. Way to yes and that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to crack our eggs. Uh, you need, I'm using six. If you want to go full dozen, give her. Uh, we need to crack these into a bowl. Great. All right. It says a large bowl. Maybe I should get a larger bowl. Whoops. Oh, oh. Bowl. Love it. Your viewers are going to want to see this. One cool thing I can do. One hand. Whoa. Right, just get your olive oil. Just do a little drizzle on top. And this is just good practice, like whether you're making this or just making dinner for yourself or friends. Um, while you're waiting to use the noodle, just let the olive oil do that. Because basically it's not going to stick together um, when it's ready to use. So, all right, well, let's just get out the brick from Oh my gosh, kids at home, just snap, scratch and sniff that. Scratch. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ooh. All right, what you will do now, don't turn off your oven, but crank her Oops. the other way uh, to 400. So go from 250 to 400. Right. Okay, awesome. Take the breadcrumbs out. Don't leave them in the oven, take them out. Let's take our eggs, two teaspoons of salt. Again, whatever kind of salt you want to use. Um, awesome. And uh, what else do we need? Uh, a half, oh, sorry, a quarter cup of water. Mix that with the eggs. Eggs, water, salt. So we are going to whisk this until it is frothy. Frothy. Love it. 
And does this sound I, inappropriate on your end? Does it sound, that looks awesome. Does it's it sound cross. inappropriate to you? Because this sounds, I don't know, it sounds a little gross to me. It's a little weird. Yeah. yeah let's, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right. Well, well I am whisking it together. out. I don't want it to make it. Yes, <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> 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 that is true. Oh my gosh! So we, of course, met at the uh, at the North Carolina Comedy Festival. Um, was that the first yes. time you've done the fest, or had you been there before? Uh, that festival in particular, yes. Um, it was my first time in Greensboro, North Carolina. Yes, yeah, I can't nice. think of another reason why I would be in Greensboro, North Carolina. But it was a nice little place. It was a, yeah. a cool little, cool little town. She yeah. is in the book, but really, whatever you've got at home is pretty okay by me. Uh, I'm gonna go with provolone, which is one of my faves. Um, and this is a Canadian cheese called Oka, uh, which I really like. It's a okay. brand called Oka. It's just kind of like a, kind of like a Gouda vibe to it. Like a, it's nice soft cheese, but like a bit of a bite and. All right. But yeah. Fancy. I you... just went with the, whatever's in the Kroger bag. Amazing. Cool. Nice. Okay. So it says to, uh... oh, I lied. Sorry. I misread. Spaghetti first, then the meat and cheese. Great. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. So you're just going to pour that egg mixture on top. Make sure it gets all around. And uh, here we go, very gently showing this. I promise you the egg has been poured in, poured in um, which is perfect. And then what we're gonna do is, um, if you feel like it, you can at this point, take some cherry tomatoes or a little bit of tomato, put that on top. Are you going to tomato, Zachary? Um, I'm normally not a big tomato guy, but I think I might, I might Toss I'm not a tomato here. fan either. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Uh, but I am going to put a couple. I am going to put, I have a little garden, a little tomato from the garden here. Oh, you grew it yourself? I found a little balcony garden, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love and that. I gotta say, if you're going to go tomato, growing your own, they taste infinitely better. I believe that. Infinitely better. Because they're like your little vegetable babies they're like you're like i gave birth to you you know <laughs> exactly and you're so proud of them look yeah. how far they've come i know i can't wait for it to go off to college That's yes gonna be um and then <laughs> go off uh, to after college you college and come back as a pasta sauce i'm sorry <laughs> 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 after you've added or not added your tomatoes then you're going to take those beautiful breadcrumbs and you're going to pile them top of this side and here we go Make sure everyone at home beauty we toss the bread comes right on top you said yeah just stick those right on top um awesome what else do we need to do hmm. okay make sure you're up and again it's at 400 degrees fahrenheit you're going to bake this you're going to bake this for 12 minutes okay well It's got a little, it's got a little bit of runniness, but I feel like it's, I don't know, it'll like be fine, right? Um, I don't know. What do you think? Let's do the, let's do two more minutes. Okay. Yeah. Because it does say in the book, if you do notice a shake to give it about five minutes extra. Um, there's, there's no like shake, but there's just like, I see some stuff, some yeah. juices yeah. All right. running around on top. Okay. Right. Fork is ready. Waiting, waiting. Oh, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Together, together. Got the tea. All right. Yeah, here we go. and also with you. Mm. Mm. Well, the bread's good. Oh, my the God. The bread's great. The bread's amazing. The cheese is kick ass. I never oh. would have. Yeah, I never would have thought to mix spaghetti and eggs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's it good. just seems like a buddy. It's not bad. It works great. It just seems Excellent. like a buddy the elf like breakfast casserole kind of deal. You know what I mean? 
It's like spaghetti and pop tarts. I'm like, yeah, throw some eggs in there. Sure. Oh my I God. Know. I would love it if you call this Zachary's Christmas casserole. Ah. That would be amazing. That also sounds like a great, that also sounds like a great um, ice cream flavor. Zachary's Christmas casserole. Oh Come my God. Come on. <laughs> the bread gives it a really, really killer crunch because it's good to have like that texture difference in this. Um, yeah. But it's just comforting and just smooth and creamy and curvy. And what more do you need? Yeah. Did you say curvy? Mm -mm. Sure. I yeah. said curvy, curvy. But you will be curvy, curvy. Oh. after eating too much okay. of this. That's right. That's right. We need to go to curves. <laughs> That's my It'll be fine. It'll be fine.